cluster of earthquakes uh, that we saw in the morning, one of uh, which was a magnitude 4.2 uh, near uh, Dollar Point in the middle of Lake Tahoe. Um, these earthquakes are all just basically the business as usual, the events that we see happening normally. Uh, we have 50 earthquakes a day in California, and some of them are bigger than others. Many of them, most of them are very small. Um, every once in a while, we get one that's a little bit bigger than the others, but this is basic run-of-the-mill activity in, in the region. So uh, Memorial Day visitors to Tahoe shouldn't have anything to worry about. Memorial Day to vis visitors to Tahoe should know if they feel shaking from an earthquake, they should take a proper protective action, drop cover and hold on. We need to uh, be ready for earthquakes no matter what. So it's a matter of knowing what to do. I mean, no matter where you might be, there could be an earthquake. Uh, I live in Southern California. Uh, I'm always prepared for, for an event. So people should just know what to do if, if shaking begins. And the great thing about living in California is that there is the Shake Alert Earthquake Early Warning System, which is active in the state. So if people have downloaded apps to their phone, like uh, MyShake or Quake Alert USA, or they have an Android phone where they can get alerts from Google, or if they've turned on their wireless emergency alerts like Amber Alerts, then they could potentially get a, a warning on their phone in the form of, of basically an alert. Uh, on what fault line did today's earthquakes occur? So that's really hard to tell. And there are a couple of reasons. Uh, that particular region where this earthquake occurred has a lot of faults. It's very complex. And also the size of the earthquake, it's very small compared to, to many that we, we have. So it's very difficult to determine exactly which fault it is. So even though it was a magnitude 4.2, that's still a fairly small earthquake. And so it, it will take some time to figure out exactly where that earthquake occurred. Um, the one thing that we do know is that, um, which, which was great for us, is that we know that the earthquake early warning system, Shake Alert, was activated during this event. And, and so we knew the system actually worked during this particular event. Are, are clusters like this uh, common for the faults in the area around the Tahoe region? Clusters, clusters like this are common around faults all over the state. So again, this is sort of run-of-the-mill type of events. Again, it, it takes a little bit of time to unpack a lot of the details, but we've seen these things happen. We have earthquakes throughout the state where there are many, there's maybe one earthquake and many small earthquakes that follow. It's just a matter of, um, of looking at them over the long term to see what they're doing. Do you have an idea of um, the uh, sort of the scale of magnitude earthquakes that could be generated in this area? Is, is four kind of the top end or? That's hard to tell because um, again, there's a lot of complexity there. Um, certainly the region is capable of earthquakes at least of magnitude five. Certainly earthquakes big enough that would cause shaking that could potentially cause harm. I mean, we live in earthquake country. California is full of faults. Uh, the region where Tahoe is and, and sort of the greater sort of western Nevada region is something called the Walker Lane. And that part of, of, of the world actually um, is where a lot of motion is going on between uh, the Earth's tectonic plates on the west coast. So there is, there, is a cons there is a significant chance that there are earthquakes that could cause shaking that could cause damage and potentially cause harm to people. Does it, uh, what, what happened today, the, the cluster of earthquakes happened today, it's not any sort of indicator or a precursor to a larger event? Yeah, and that's a really good question. And I think people are always trying to look for patterns to see if something is, is somehow the, the, uh, an indicator of something to happen. And that's really, really hard to tell. Um, we have no way of actually predicting uh, something bigger happening. Basically, what we try to do is understand earthquake behavior throughout the state, but there's nothing that tells us based on the pattern of earthquakes that we saw this morning that something bigger may happen. Um, it's just a matter of, of really um, being ready for that event in case it happens. And really, these smaller events should tell people that earthquakes do happen in California and they will continue to happen and we just need to be ready for them. Um, they still continue to be unexpected phenomena. Uh, and so all we can do is be ready for them. Or 
in the case of having sh the Shakelet Earthquake Early Warning System in California now, actually in California, Oregon, and Washington, there is the possibility to get an alert on your phone or through some other means, letting you know that that shaking from an earthquake may be coming your direction. Have you noticed any increased activity overall, or or is this just, you know, usual? Based on based on what we see, it's just regular run-of-the-mill seismicity around the state. You get things like this happening in the southern part of the state. You see things happening on the coast in Humboldt County. Uh, this is all the, the typical behavior. Again, 50 earthquakes a day in California. And so they're gonna have to happen somewhere. And, and it just so happens that some of these events are happening in clusters and there you have one maybe smallish earthquake, say a magnitude four, and then you get a bunch of little small ones after that. This is, this is the way we see earthquakes behaving, and it's it's really pretty normal. I think those are all the questions that I have. Is there anything else you can tell me about today's earthquake or anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I, I think it's really important to know that, that even though this was a fairly small earthquake and maybe the shaking that was really evident was felt really only very close to Lake Tahoe, um, anybody who felt this earthquake or anyone who heard about it, this is an opportunity to learn about what you can do uh, if you feel shaking from an earthquake, drop cover and hold on. But also really most importantly as well is to also realize that in addition to doing something when you feel shaking is that if you have shake alert powered alerts on your phone, uh, if you've downloaded either the apps or have the other ways that I described earlier, um, there's the possibility that you may get an alert before shaking arrives. And if you get that alert to take that protective action. 